Welcome to Prince Math Clinic, the e-learning solution at your pace and time. Good day and welcome once again to class. Here we have a very interesting SAT math question. And the question says in the given figure, O is the center of the circle. Segment BC is a tangent. That means from here to here is a tangent. Why? Because it cuts just a particular spot point on the circumference of the circle. Any point like that is called a tangent to the circle at B. And A lies on the segment OC. This is A. This is the other line segment OC. If OB is equal to AC, equal to C centimeter, that is OB is equal to AC, and the both of them are 6 and 6 centimeters. But interestingly, looking at the question, you find that OB is a radius. OA is also a radius, right? So that means that OB and OA are equal. So if this is 6 centimeters, this is also 6 centimeters. And the question has reliably told us that AC is also 6 centimeters. So we can go ahead with the solution. Solution. I'm going to draw out the triangle I have there. I'm going to take this particular point as my B. This is how it's going to be. So this is C. I have O, B, C. So I'm going to make this point C. Then I'm going to make this point here B. And this is O. O, B is my radius, which is what? Six centimeters. Then OC, I was told that AC is equal to OB, which is 6 centimeters. So for instance, if this is the point A, we were told that what AC is 6 centimeters. And since OA is also a radius, so it means that if this is 6 centimeters, this is also 6 centimeters. So 6 plus 6 gives us what? 12 centimeters in all. So CB can be determined, CB, and interestingly, CB is this leg here, right? So we know from Pythagoras' theorem that if I have CO or OC squared is equal to what? OB squared plus BC squared. OC squared is 12 squared, OB squared is 6 squared, and BC squared is unknown. So to get BC squared is going to be 12 squared is 144, 6 squared is 36. So BC squared, 144 minus 36. It's simply 108. Then, the square root of 108, if you take the square root of both sides, I will get my BC to be 6 root 3. Interesting. Whenever you see 6 root 3, or you see anything root 2, it triggers something. And it triggers what we call what? The special right triangle. And what does the special right triangle say? Since this is 6 root 3, I'm going to pick one of them. And what it says is that if I have a triangle like this, which is an equilateral triangle, right? It's equilateral because this is 60 degrees, 60 degrees, and 60 degrees. So if I split this into two, it has bisected this 60 degrees. So this becomes... 30 degrees. If all the sides are equal, that is, if there are 2x, if this is 2x, this is 2x, this is also 2x. But since this line bisects this angle into 2, this becomes what? x. Right? So I'm going to delete one part of this triangle to have a right angle triangle. So let me remove this part. Therefore, if I take off this part, I can find what this leg will be, right? So using Pythagoras theorem, I know that my 2x squared 
will be equals to the leg I don't know. Let us call it L squared plus X squared. So bring this here. My L squared becomes 2X squared minus, remember it is 2X squared minus X squared. So therefore, if you square 2, you get what? 4. Then X squared minus X squared. So this gives us what? 3X squared. Remember, square root in order for us to get L. So this can be written as square root of 3 times square root of X squared. So here the square, we cancel the square root. So this becomes X root 3. So therefore, the special triangle looks like this. If this is 60 degrees, this is 30 degrees, this is 2X, this is X. This is now X. This side is now X root 3. Things I need here. Look at the side facing the smallest angle is X. Therefore, the hypotenuse here is double of what? The smallest side. And the side facing 60 degrees X root 3. X root 3. So look at it. X root 3. So compare now X root 3 to this particular side root 3, right? Compare, right? So it means that the side facing what? If this is root 3, x root 3, remember, we got this as 6 root 3. The side facing this angle, therefore, will become what? 60 degrees, right? Now, I'm looking for that angle because I will need it in the solution. Right? Good. Back to the question. We are asked to find the what? The area of shaded portion. Now, if I take out the shaded portion from this part, I will have the sector left. Right? The sector of the circle left. And it means that if I take out the sector of the circle from the triangle, I, I will have what? A what? I will have the area of the shaded region. So, therefore, area of shaded portion equal to the area of the triangle minus the area of the sector. What's the area of the triangle? Half times base times height. Then the area of the sector is theta over 360 times pi r root squared. So let's apply this formula now. My height in this triangle is BC. That's my height. That is 6. Then what is my base? My base in this triangle is OB, which is 6, right? So, using this, this part is my height, this is my base. This still remains the hypotenuse because it's facing angle 90 degrees. So, using that formula half, the base here is what? Is 6. The height is what? 6, root 3. Then minus. Our theta has been found to be 60 because that is the angle O, right? So this is 60 degrees over 360 degrees times pi. I will leave it in terms of pi. Then our arrow, our radius. Now, mind you, the radius is OB. OB is given to us as 6 centimeters. So if you square 6, you get 30. This is 36 over 1. This is power over 1. 36 can go in 360 10 times. So, therefore, 0 will cancel 0 here. I have 6 left here. So, the area of my shaded portion, I won't done this calculation. 2 can go here 3 times. So, 3 times 6 is 18. Root 3. Then minus. Now we have found this place to be what? We are left with 6, right? Then pi. So therefore, the area of the shaded portion is 18 root 3 minus 6 pi, which you can further express by factoring out 6. So therefore, I'm left with 3 here. 3 root 3 minus pi centimeter squared. That is the area of the shaded region in the question. And if you have a better way of solving this question, 
kindly drop it in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you can get more videos as we drop them on this channel. This is Prismas Clinic. Bye for now.